Now, tributes have been paid to the British broadcaster Michael Mosley, who's been found dead on the Greek island of Simi following a four-day search. He went missing last Wednesday in scorching temperatures while out walking on holiday. Our correspondent Joe Inwood reports from Simi. It was here on a rocky hillside that Michael Mosley was found. He was just metres from safety when he was seemingly overcome by the heat and collapsed. The people of this island and the Greek authorities had done everything they could. Despite that, he was not found for nearly four days. It was on that beach of Agia Marina that the body, which has now been identified as Michael Mosley, was found. He was found lying just to the right side of that fence you can see over there, so really close to where people would have been relaxing and playing on this popular and busy beach. Uh, we spoke to a police source who said that the body of Michael Mosley had been there for a number of days. It was a tragic end to a story that had begun on Wednesday when Michael Mosley left the beach where he'd been with his wife Claire at about 1.30. He was then picked up on a camera at a coffee shop here, a second one at a restaurant here, and then finally on one at a marina before he walked out of town, heading towards Agia Marina. But despite an extensive search and rescue operation involving police, fire, helicopters, dogs, even members of the public, in the end he was found by accident. It's emerged a Greek television crew were filming with the mayor and only noticed the body in their shot when they got back to edit their pictures. When we returned here in Simi and the footage wasn't prepared to send to Athens, we spotted the body of a man. We informed the mayor and so the coast guard was immediately mobilized with the doctors. Michael Mosley's death was confirmed by his wife Claire. She said, it's devastating to have lost Michael, my wonderful, funny, kind and brilliant husband. We had an incredibly lucky life together. I'm incredibly proud of our children, their resilience and support over the past days. We're taking comfort in the fact that he so very nearly made it. He did an incredible climb, took the wrong route and collapsed. We are so grateful to the extraordinary people on Simi who have worked tirelessly to help find him. A medical team carefully moved Michael Mosley to a waiting Coast Guard boat, then to Rhodes for a post-mortem. There has been a genuine sense of shock, of sadness on this quiet island over the disappearance and death of Michael Mosley, a man most had never met. Imagine then the pain of those who knew and loved him. Joe Inwood, BBC News, on the Greek island of Simi. Let's speak to our news correspondent, Joe Inwood, who's on the Greek island of Simi and has been following this from the very beginning. Joe, good to have you. Now, you mentioned it briefly in that report, but we are expecting another development today, aren't we? Yeah, so it's understood that the post-mortem examination of Dr. Michael Mosley, which is going to take place on the island of Rhodes, should be taking place at some point today. It should give us more of an indication about exactly what led to his death, although I think it's fair to say that given that statement from Claire Bailey Mosley, his wife, and all the various CCTV footage that's emerged, we now do have a clear picture, I think. Uh, although, of course, we do need to have final confirmation from the post-mortem examination, but it seems that he essentially took the wrong route. He made a mistake in the um, decision. He was thinking he was going home. He ended up going into the hills. He got lost and then was exposed to the incredible heat of this island. Now, Joe, uh, of course, there was the reaction there from his family, family who were holding on to hope for so many days. Other tributes have poured in, haven't they, from colleagues as well of ours at the BBC, given he was a very well-respected and much-loved colleague. Yeah, and that's one thing that comes across very clearly from all of the tributes, from people who knew him personally and people who just knew his work. He was an incredibly well-liked person and an incredibly skilled broadcaster. You could see it when he was trying to communicate these complicated ideas about diet, about lifestyle. He made it accessible. He, his series, Just One Thing, is something I've listened to many times. And it was a, it was a brilliant way of explaining to people how you can do, make small changes in your life to have big outcomes, big consequences. And I think it's that combination of his brilliant communication and his very easy manner. He, his, he was a light touch communicator, a light touch broadcaster. He made things seem effortless. And I think all of those things, along with the fact that he is evidently, from these statements we've seen, just a very, very nice man, explain the outpouring of affection and of grief, uh, the sad news we got yesterday. And Joe, 
You just laid out there what an impact he's had on people's lives. Now, you've been there since the very beginning. Could you lay out for us how this search progressed throughout the week and, and when the reality started to sink in? So it was on Wednesday that he went to, he went missing about 1.30ish or so. The alarm was raised that evening. Uh, and, and then there was a sort of a search operation that started to accelerate from there. We actually arrived on Thursday. And by then, there were helicopters in the skies, there had been drones. As we came over on the ferry, there was a search and rescue dog that had come in from Athens. Uh, and there was basically a gradual ramping up of the process of, of trying to find Michael Mosley over the days. And that's because this is a very small place. Simi is an island of maybe two and a half thousand people. They don't have a huge amount of search and rescue resources just sitting here waiting to to find people. And so they've had to bring them in from elsewhere. The Greek authorities, it has to be said, and, and Michael Mosley's wife said this as well, have done their very, very best in a difficult situation. Uh, but that search and rescue operation has been expanding and obviously culminated yesterday in the finding of the body. Now, I think I said in my report there, in the end, it was actually found, he was found by accident. It was a Greek television crew that found him rather than the huge efforts of the people and the authorities here uh, to find Michael Mosley. All right, Joe, thank you for that update. And there is more from Joe on our BBC News website with more tributes uh, after the body was found and the news has come of Michael Mosley.